Well, in a comment, somebody had kind of asked uh, how the garden was doing. And it's been kind of nice. <laughs> it's been really nice this year. You know, we started out dry, so I had to do a lot of watering, and I had a lot of trouble with cutworms just because it was dry, and there was a few things I ended up having to reseed. But the potatoes are doing really good. Now, I've got two different types of potatoes in here. They're both red potatoes. But I couldn't get all the same variety, so I got two different ones. I don't remember. I think one is Norland and one is Viking or something. But those, the one, the two rows in the middle, blossomed early. And these have just really got into the blossoming now. But what I normally do is I, I plant potatoes pretty thick and then I can pull out like every other plant early in the season. And even after that I'll start where I'll, I'll dig underneath and, and steal a potato or two. I did that the one year and I was quite surprised. Uh, the potatoes that remained got much bigger. So that worked. But like I say, they're doing really well. I decided today I'd pull up one plant of the ones that blossomed earlier. And I was pleased to see, well, you can see there's a lot of little potatoes that were starting on it. So that's a good sign. But under the one plant, I got what six potatoes this size, which is a great eating size. And, and this early in the year, you know, we got the thin skin on them, so I can I can boil them right with the hide on them. You know, that's a good meal right there. I don't have to dig around; it might be more than yeah. Here's another one. But it's kind of funny. That's actually the seed potato. <laughs> dig that back in. So here's one. Yeah, that's got sprouts on it again, that'll grow. But I like this time of year because I get a lot of my food out of the garden. Now, there was one thing I wanted to show was these things right here. These are multiplier onions, these two rows. You know, when they kind of reproduce and, and expand, they're also called uh, potato onions or walking onions. They're an old thing that my, uh, my grandma used to have and my ma had, and I could never find them. And I'd ask in, in greenhouses, nope, they hadn't heard of them for a long time. Well, looking online, I found where they were available, uh, though rather expensive. Most of them seem to be coming from Canada because they're very cold weather tolerant. Well, it's hard to get stuff out of Canada. Uh, the shipping is always just crazy. I, I, I don't know, the Canadian system is... To bring stuff in from Canada is very expensive. But I was able to buy Two different types of the multiplier onions, there's the yellow ones and the red ones, and a bunch of these, which are garlic, out of Thailand. Now, uh, it was funny, <laughs> and they came pretty quick, so I was pretty happy with that, uh, quicker than they would have come from Canada, and much cheaper. But I, the Canadian postal system is just a, uh, it seems to be a ripoff to me, but Anyway, cost me for all of these, the bulbs cost seven dollars and three dollars shipping from Thailand, and they didn't take long to get here. So I was very pleased to find these again. Like I say, it's one of them things where you know it's an old thing that nobody seems to carry in, in the states anymore. 
But now I've got them and they'll just keep going. Oh uh, yeah, of course got my regular onions, which are probably about ready to stay. Yeah, I can start using these at any time. You know, and that kind of stuff goes fine in warm, dry weather onions. They don't care. There was some stuff though that I, I had trouble with. But long as I'm out here. But the multiplier onions are a great thing. And I'm glad to see my potatoes are kicking in. You know, because like I say, in summer, whew, I get a lot of food out of the garden. But I will also mention that the rhubarb is actually flourishing. You know, I had transplanted five of them, three big ones to a little one. Well, they're all doing good. You know, so that is very encouraging. They're flourishing. So things are looking good. Uh, but these were a particularly good deal. You know, those multipliers. For that seven dollars and three dollars shipping. But potatoes. You know, a staple food that I will now have all summer. And with that many potatoes, probably all winter too. <laughs> 